where we need to cross two zeros in order to exchange successfully. The, cal the calculation we'll be completing to model this is 52,001, take away 12,134. As you can see, we've already written out the numbers 52,001 and 12,134. We need to ensure that we have our subtraction operation shown clearly on the left hand side of the calculation. We now need to ensure we have laid out our counters. So in this case, we need one one. We do not need any tens or hundreds. Instead, we have place value holders and we need two thousands and five ten thousands. We do not need any counters in the next row as this is a subtraction calculation. We begin in the smallest place value column. One, take away four we will need to exchange straight away. We cannot exchange in the tens or the hundreds column as we only have place value holders. Therefore we need to go into our thousands column. We'll exchange one thousand for ten hundreds. We cannot cross more than one place value column at a time. We will then need to exchange one of those hundreds for ten tenths. This ensures we have some counters in each place value column rather than just our place value holders. This allows us finally to exchange into our ones column. We will exchange one ten for ten ones. This should leave us with eleven ones. Eleven take away four we can complete. We bring four ones into our checkbox, check them, and then we can subtract them. We bring what is left down into our answer box. We can then complete the same in our tens column. We should have nine tens left, take away three tens. We check them and then we bring them to subtract them. In our hundreds oh in our tens column we can then bring them down to check our answer. We'll re record that. Hundreds. We can then have our hundreds, we bring one into our checkbox, subtract it, and bring them down. We then continue in our thousands column. One thousand is left. We cannot however do this because one thousand take away two thousand. We need to therefore exchange 10,000 for 10,000. This should leave us with 11,000. We bring two of those thousands in, we check them, we subtract them, and bring what is left down. Finally, in our thousands column, we should be left with four 10,000 take away one 10,000. We bring one to check, we subtract, and we bring what is left down to the bottom in our answer box. Our final answer that we should be left with is 39,867, which we write at the top of the page to ensure it is clear.